Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to clean windscreen washer jets. Imagine this situation. You've just filled up your washer tank with new fluid. You hear the sound of the pump as you pull the lever to clean the screen. But there's still no water coming out of the jets. Blocked windscreen washer jets are more than a nuisance. They can put your road safety at risk as you won't be able to quickly clean bugs and grime off your windscreen when you need to. If the jets are blocked, the pump will deliver the water back to the windscreen washer tank. There are a few techniques to fix this. Find out how the video jug way. You will need a piece of very thin wire. An old steel string from a guitar will do an excellent job as it's flexible and won't break when cleaning the jets with it. A needle. A normal household sewing needle will help you to adjust the jet's angle. An air compressor, found at most service stations. Small compressors have become affordable in recent years and are kept in stock at quality DIY stores. A hose. A nozzle. Air aerosol. Cans of compressed air are also widely available and give you flexibility if you can't get access to a compressor. Here's a handy list of everything you need. Step 1. Secure the vehicle. Carry out this task away from traffic if possible. Park the vehicle on a level surface. In automatic cars, shift the gear stick into the parking position. Shift manual cars into first gear and apply the parking brake. Safety warning. Avoid fire hazard. Do not smoke whilst carrying out this task. Step two, identify washer jets. Find the washer jets. They'll be below the windscreen on the bonnet. Washer jets in the back are below the rear window. Step three, clean the jets with a thin wire. Insert the thin wire into the jet to clean out the residual minerals and dirt that usually clog washer jets. Once the wire enters the nozzle, it should unblock. Alternatively, you can use the air can to unblock the jets. Insert the canned tube into the jet and spray a good amount of air into the nozzles. Now check for function by pulling the washer lever. The jets should now do their job. If not, check the washer fluid tubes for blockage in the following steps. Step 4. Open the bonnet. Release the bonnet with the lever inside the car. Move the bonnet catch on the exterior for final release. Lift the bonnet and secure it with the prop rod. Step 5. Identify the washer tubes. Locate the washer tube under the bonnet. Look for a conduct on the bonnet's underside that's connected to the jets. It will have a T-valve where the single tube coming from the fluid reservoir branches off to serve the two jets on the bonnet. Step 6. Clean the washer tubes with air. Disconnect the washer tube from the T-valve so you can clean the tubes leading up to the two jets. Connect your air compressor and insert the nozzle into the tube. Use the pressured air to unblock the tube. Now pull the T-valve off the washer jet stub and insert the nozzle directly into the washer stub from underneath. Apply air pressure and repeat this process on the other jet. Reconnect the tubes and the T-valve and then close the bonnet so you can monitor the jets. Step seven, operate the washer pump. Pull the washer lever inside the car. A useful tip. If the jets still don't deliver washer fluid, you may have a broken pump. Listen for the pump's high-pitched buzzing sound when pulling the lever. If you don't hear it, check the pump's fuse in the fuse box. If the fuse is broken, replace it. If the fuse is looking normal, replace the pump. Consult a qualified service technician. Step 8. Adjust the jet angle. Your washer jets should work fine by now, but they may be adjusted at a wrong angle 
so that on the road, cars behind you get showered and your own windscreen still stays grimy. Use a needle to adjust the jet's angle and aim. Insert the needle into the valve and rotate the jet into position. This is usually a trial and error process until the water hits the windscreen at the required angle. Do a final check. The jet should now work. Pull the washer lever and you'll have a clean windscreen. And that's how you clean your washer jets the video jug way.